Okay, so we're doing this totally spontaneously. Hopefully um, we get our stuff out appropriately. Um, this is how free spirits roll spontaneously. So, um, we've been asked to do a psychological exam, aka personality test. And we have been kind of keeping that off for a very long time now because we're having a very difficult time explaining to people why it does not apply to a free spirit. It just doesn't work it becomes, at all. It becomes very uh, deceptive uh, uh, because of um, when people are waking up internally, uh, more having more wakefulness and uh, knowing of uh, of themselves within and trying to uh, figure out you know what is this what's what's going on and uh, in essence and they, they they feel more drawn to be more connected to nature and because we're uh, we're so pressured to uh, stay within cities and uh, restricted in these environments uh, it creates chaos within our own minds yeah so it's like taking a free spirit, which we all should be, but it's taking a free spirit, putting it inside of a box, and asking the free spirit within this contrived box a bunch of questions about that box that the free spirit is being trapped in that don't even apply to the, fault, the free spirit. Because the, well, yeah, because the foundation ultimately is a backwards foundation uh, to uh, to where we truly grow at. It would be the same as taking a cell and putting it inside of a petri dish on top of a carpet uh, and, 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 then, and then accusing it for uh, not being able to grow on an artificial and or backwards foundation and then labeling it with some type of psychological disorder uh, all because of, uh, not uh, of, of not, yeah, not being able to grow or, and or not being allowed to be free. Like free and, and go over on a true foundation uh, that it can grow with. Like deer, squirrels, dogs, cat, well not these dogs because these dogs are entrapped with us, but um, animals out in nature. You're not going to ask an animal to do a psychological exam. It, yeah. They're free spirits. You're not going to tell a cheetah, you're not going to, if you see a cheetah going 70 miles down the road, you're not going to Hey cheetah, you know uh, where's your license at? Or you need to uh, you need to slow it down, buddy, or you might get a ticket. <laughs> so we have created this foundation, if you will, of lies that only entrap people and enslave Every people and oppress people and make people into <clears throat> robots. They are no longer allowed to be free because if you're free, then yeah, how can I ever uh, learn how to be as fast as a cheetah if I'm having to uh, be so held down in, in uh, this environment? Yeah. So, anyways, my point is, I have this uh, example of the MMPI-2 test, um, which the psychological evaluations are geared towards. And this is just the first 75 questions. So I want to show people... When you, when you think of a free spirit, which we think we are, I mean, we try to be, but right now we feel we're being oppressed because our child is and, and, away from and us. Free, I think we need to define, uh, free spirit in essence is uh, uh, where we begin to shift from a more rational, abstract uh, perception of, of how life is through just pattern oriented um, into a more, uh, into the creative mind uh, where where we feel things more, the substance of reality, the substance of, uh, of situations, uh, the substance of our relationships, and, and things like that, where, where things go from viewing more so towards feeling. Right, so for example, when, we were, when we're born, our parents slap a name on us. They say, your name's Danielle, your name's Christian, and then for the rest of our life, that's the title that we're called. But when you start awakening to the energy within and you realize that you're actually a spiritual node within God, within the Creator, 
and the the energy within has no label. It's not Danielle. It's, it's He's actually not Christian. It's actually emotions, uh, emotional uh, thoughts of energy is what fills our vessel with life. So we are actually the uh, those uh, those emotions of energy. Right. So we we stick these labels and we stick these titles mm-hmm. and we stick these religions on us. But really, at the end of the day, we're all just energy. And we're filled in this vessel that the Creator gave life to. So, to when somebody awakens to that and realizes that everything around them doesn't have any value. Only value that there is is love. And, and Do the, no harm. And, lo- and the living, the living uh, foundation. All living things. Protect oh. life. Protect nature. Protect God's creation, protect your animals, protect each other, and just love each other. I think the, the uh, necessary things, uh, you know, become of true value. Uh, being able to breathe air, uh, drink water, uh, get your, your fruits and vegetables, and, and uh, things like that is what you, you begin to see that you were taken for granted before by uh, being so pattern-oriented and or selfish by endlessly consuming things, and uh, but ultimately... Uh, this was all a process in life and uh, that, that we must all go through together and help each other to do it. So I'm gonna, we're going to go through these questions and, and to show you why we have been so reluctant to agree to a psychological exam. It's not because we don't want to work with people. It's not because we don't love people. It's not because we just want to be one-sided one-sided we're trying right now we are our, our baby's lawyer just came over to where we're living and we're trying we're doing what we what, what we feel we need to do but we're also trying to do it in a way where we are not um, being stepped all over because we are when this all began we were free spirits that were just trying to serve the creator and just living our life we didn't harm anybody we loved people we were we were having an experience of love, and and since then it's kind of been taken away from us. But we're trying to bridge the gap. And, and also the uh, the deception uh, uh, and the um, uh, being betrayed in the, in the very beginning of our of our um, encounter here in, in Alabama. But uh, so that right there alone made it very difficult for us to uh, um, to try and speak back and forth because. The entire foundation of, of, of how our baby was uh, pretty much stolen from us. It was stolen on, on deception and fraud. It may, that, that, that right there alone creates a lot of uh, restriction to uh, associating with, with people uh, that think that because of how they're doing it, they're right. Uh, because of uh, laws, statutes, and policies that apply to cities. Uh, but they don't apply to nature. Um, you know, if there were no cities here, uh, the, only, the only time to take anyone's child would be because of uh, injury and or harm. But just because we, uh, the hearts of man and woman has changed over many years and have, have created a backwards abstract environment that doesn't flow with uh, creation anymore, uh, does it mean that whenever people are waking up to this and uh, we just desire, our only desire is just to try and flow with the Creator more, uh, we, 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 we shouldn't attack those people. We, we, help. Uh, we should all help each other. I mean, uh, the Creator is, is, love is not separation. Uh, uh, love is, uh, you know, the true foundation of all living things. It, 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 uh, uh, nature functions and operates because the Creator is within it and makes it happen. Uh, cities, uh, they only function because of uh, uh, technological devices and um, uh, people that uh, must work and enforce it nonstop, which then creates over two million abstract laws uh, that don't even apply to nature. It, it just it creates so much uh, restriction. Father of confusion. Yeah, it becomes a father of confusion uh, because uh, love is the law, right? Uh, true love is, is, is what the law is, the it law co- of the Creator. It covers everything, because if you truly love and you truly know what it is to love, you will not harm a thing, not and, one thing. And then in a, and then in a backwards foundation, uh, it, it preys on love, and it uses uh, love against itself, and mocks it, and uh, restricts it. So 
these are things that that we must better understand as uh, brothers and sisters so that so that we don't restrict our own growth so we don't uh, put ourselves inside of this little restricted box where uh, no one can consciously grow I mean uh, uh, the goal of life is for us to keep growing growing together <sighs> So, all right, I, do you want me to ask the question and then you answer and then I answer? Uh, sure, we can just kind of like spontaneously go back and forth. Okay, like I said, this is from the MMPI 2 test, which I believe is what they are asking us to do. And we've told them we don't mind if they feel more comfortable us going to a counselor. <coughs> we'll do that. We're, we're working with them. We're doing <coughs> what we need to be doing. But ultimately, it's by, it's, it's by force. But, it, but we're yeah. willing to, uh, well, you know, uh, be, we're being love and we're doing as best as we can under the restrictions of uh, force, uh, uh, yeah. Um, but this test, we mm. need to get mm. this out there mm. so people mm. understand where we're coming from. Uh, this test cannot be applied to a free spirit. It just doesn't work. And, and then they try and calculate your personality based on a false foundation that does not even apply to a free spirit because you cannot restrain a free spirit to labels and titles. I mean, it's just not possible. I need to reiterate too is that uh, our child was forcefully taken uh, but uh, we choose to not react and, and hate and or violence the same way that he was violently taken from us is what I mean. Some people could probably, you know, language becomes so deceptive and uh, uh, separate that people can just run with whatever uh, when you really mean one way and it becomes with good intentions but then it. yeah it, it becomes where people can just twist up so many things and uh, uh, but so I just have to make sure that I say everything is all the way around as possible which becomes very difficult because language is very restrictive sure let me make sure this is really working before hey, I I'll do it again let me see <coughs> yep okay so question number one <clears throat> I like mechanics. Oh, these are all true or false. You can't explain them. No true or false. True or false. Um, there is no explanation. Now we have asked if they want so badly for us to show whatever they want us to show. If we could at least have a way to explain our answers, then we'd be more willing to do that to appease what whatever it is they're trying to do but this does not work because a lot of these questions are very subjective and they can be used they're used as a weapon uh because of understanding the two different foundations uh uh the the, the foundation of cities and things like that that's backwards to nature which is a different perception of, of how people view things and want to live these questions isolate the ones that want to live more natural and because it says only true or false uh, it'll then diagnose them as something uh, wrong uh, uh, or viral towards the city environment when really it's the city environment that's viral towards the living the it's living for, environment. The free environment. Yeah, the so free spirit environment. So it becomes a pseudoscience where it's a, a psychology that is uh, reverse psychology, if you will, and power of persuasion, and it flips it on the. Um, uh, the free spirit and or the, uh, trying to grow within the mind and consciousness uh, and we should not be we, that, that's that's not the right thing to do uh, what uh, in the world does this have to do with parenting and just loving your child yeah. why, why are we trapping free spirits in a box to ask them questions that don't even matter we, we shouldn't be enforcing one environment over the other uh, uh, and as we're all growing together, we've got to figure out how to protect both environments and allow people to choose, you know, because people that choose to go live in a more natural environment, it's very difficult. But if they so choose that, that's, that is our uh, right under the Creator uh, that has given us this uh, planet to live on to do that. But everything is owned and operated because of the way that the government is rationally set up now to protect cities rather than... Uh, being creatively over rationally uh, government of the living uh, environment and government of the dead environment is what I say uh, but we need to figure out some way to do this so that we can better assist the proper growth okay number one I like mechanics magazines uh, well now, now I would say no uh, <laughs> so 
uh, if we are all about nature, why do mechanics magazines mm -hmm. even matter? Mm -hmm. We could care less about mechanics magazines. And we're we don't not care. And we're not downing people that do. If you it, can it, care. Yeah. That's fine. We're fine with that. We still love you, but we really could care less. What What does this have to do with being a parent? Um, we're not going to enforce a, a nature magazine on somebody. Okay. I have a good appetite. Yes, I eat, I eat when it's necessary. Okay, so again, th this is how we think, just so everyone understands. I have a good appetite. So, we eat when we are hungry. So, if we are getting hungry, then I guess that would mean that we have a good appetite. But we eat when we're hungry, we're not gluttonous. We will not give in to gluttony and force large meals down our throat. Now, do in we, the past we may have, but we are growing and we are trying to live as close to the Creator as we possibly can. And more, and more uh, organic as we can. Uh, it, it is very difficult to, uh, to live so organically in such a backwards uh, uh, foundation that, that we all must live in now. And uh, we, we, we try and eat uh, fruits and vegetables as much as we can and we're still growing through a lot of things. And, we're just as human as uh, as any of uh, as anyone. Three. I wake up fresh and rested most mornings. I say I say human, but then again, we, people can use the definition of saying that's wrong. So there, once again, language becomes a barrier. Okay. Right. Back to this. Number three. I wake up fresh and rested most mornings. Uh, somewhat yes. Okay. Me? No. I'm up all night. You know why? Our baby was taken <coughs> over a, a little. <coughs> A year ago today it'll be a year, it's a year today um so i have to say is it yeah right. it's very difficult it depends on what we're dealing with i i mean okay so this is the thing so i wake up fresh and rested most mornings if i say yes i'm lying mm -hmm. because i don't if i say no it's only now because of what's happened so they do this thing where they rip your life away from you and then they they say that you need to answer these questions <clears throat> to trap you and then they diagnose you when it, yeah, it, I would be waking up fresh and rested mo most mornings if I wasn't so stressed out and worried yeah. about our baby not being with us. That that makes common sense, don't you think? Yeah. Um, I mean, uh, if, if we were in, a, in an all-living environment uh, where we were able to uh, garden and these things and be left alone, uh, we would not go and... Could you imagine if uh, people were living in nature and those people chose to live that way and they're living fine? Uh, and they're fine with that and they weren't bothered by anybody but they didn't uh, agree with the people and they didn't agree with the people living in cities so all of a sudden uh, they orchestrated an event and uh, just went over and stole all the kids from uh, the from the parents in cities and said you're uh, sinning and said, too much and said, you're destroying yeah, nature yeah you're sinning too much and, and destroying nature uh, and, you, and you've created a backwards uh, false environment to uh, the creator uh, could you imagine if that happened I mean that would be the same, in essence, of the ones that are policing cities now. That would that, never that, happen. That it would never happen because ultimately, uh, um, people that uh, respect uh, the Creator's creation of all living things will protect uh, life. They protect life, and they understand that process. And ultimately, too, uh, there's no need to force anybody uh, to live in nature. It's your choice if you, you know, to to do as you will. But you see. Uh, whenever we have a false foundation that feels threatened because it knows that it's false and that it must be policed in a certain way, uh, that's why they use force and they attack, uh, uh, well, people that are shifting in the mind and, and uh, that want to live more organically or closer to a more natural environment. Okay, number four. I think I would like the work of a librarian. Okay. I would not. You, I know you definitely want it. I love to read i'm constantly reading only things that matter to life i'm reading about what's going on in the world i'm reading about what's going on with cps 
I learned, I, we've learned law. We've, we've read a lot of law in the last year. So I'll, I'll do whatever is necessary, what, whatever we have. Whatever what, means something. Of that, yeah, yeah. Things of value. I don't like reading it, things that are not real. And law only became a, a, a false uh, positive or a false negative, however you want to say That's a whole other thing. Of, of value because of, of, of what we were dealing with to try and associate with the language of the people that have stolen our job. So as far as this question goes, once again, it is a question that they're trying to ask a free spirit that's trapped in a box where that free spirit would have nothing to do with the library because they're just out living life and experiencing life with their creator. There would be no library. It would be you're intuitively connected to the creator and things come to you and you just know things because you're the all-knowing kind of thing. That's what, that's well, what happens. Well, yeah, yeah, as you uh, begin to shift into a more creative uh, perception of reality, uh, uh, just as one grows within their own rational mind, uh, you grow within your own creativity and you become stronger and stronger, more and more uh, intuitive. Uh, and as that, uh, as that intuition grows, that's what the, uh, the knowing is. You become more uh, knowing and confident by listening to the Creator growing with the uh, creator intuitively and that's uh that's what that knowing process becomes number five i am easily awakened by noise no no i don't think so am i uh maybe yeah. i don't think so well yeah. not so much any right now but i am because of everything that's going on you start kind of losing trust for uh when, when things are so deceptively used against you mm -hmm. you start losing trust within people and then noises and you know i'm thinking about the baby all night long so everything wakes me up and even if if i do sleep which is kind of rare these days um yeah i'm, I'm constantly and then uh, and then any, any time that you uh are uh, speaking uh, truth and it questions people's denial system within themselves and uh, uh what happens is is that uh, people become aware of the lying mind, uh, the alter ego that we create through languages and things like that to, uh, to help assist ourselves in growth towards the Creator. Uh, we actually create a false God. That's what languages and letters, numbers, symbols, and all that is, is us creating a fictitious environment to try and find the Creator. Uh, but with that being said, as one is speaking about these things and trying to show a more rational being, a rational being can become very uh, apprehensive to that. Uh, because it's 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 a little fearful. It's a little uh, it's a little scary to recognize that your that your your mind can lie to you uh, and deceive you like this uh, so much. So uh, in essence, for us, uh, then that becomes where um, where we have to be more careful uh, because we don't want to hurt anybody's feelings and or uh, uh, you know if they feel the need to attack or something. So this is another uh, question that I feel like is a, a question of trapping, and this is why. Number six, I like to read newspaper articles on crime. So what they do with this question is they judge you. If you like to read articles on crime, they judge you because they start to see that your mind could potentially go more towards crime if you like to read newspaper articles on crime. I don't see it that way. What I see is I like to read things that are true. The study whether the false ego. Whether it's crime, whether it's not, whether it's something else, whether it's a good story, whether it's a bad story. If it's true, then I like to read it. If it's true, then I like to listen to it or watch it. It doesn't matter if it's crime or not. I just, I, I, I need the truth. So to them, they're only judging you based on on reading articles of crime, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I do. It's like a trapping question. It so, can be. It can, it's very subjective. It has no direction. No. It can be used as however they want to use it. So then seven. My hands and feet are usually warm enough. Uh, okay. What if I'm in Alaska? What I mean. <laughs> Right. There's, there's a million ways I could answer this question, and then people will say to me, just answer it right then and there. Well, no, that would be a lie, because the truth is, sometimes my hands and feet are cold, sometimes they're not. Sometimes 
It depends on the situation. Are we talking about winter? Are we talking about summer? What kind of question is and, that? And, and, and what, why does this have anything to do with me being a mother? And this is uh, this is actually uh, very interesting how this is happening because as this is happening, I'm realizing how people will better understand a creative mind being as, as what we're doing right now. This is actually very good. Yes. <laughs> uh, so what happens is a creative mind being is more wakefulness, more alert, uh, uh, more knowing, uh, um, they can more whenever, whenever many possibilities. Yeah, walking into a room, uh, we don't necessarily count like we used to by uh, the rational mind. We're just more wakeful of what is when we walk in. We're just more wakeful. We see we see everything that's going on. But so when we're in a meeting with multiple people, we kind of have a feeling as far as what each person is thinking. We know what's going on in that room. Yeah, but and and and, and then you because you're in control of your own rationalism, uh, the alter ego. Uh, you can still calculate patterns and assess why people are sitting a certain way and then also uh, but you feel more you just you feel more of them rather than the need of calculating certain situations to better understand people so these questions are very refined and very subjective for the rational mind it's the free spirit in a box right yeah absolutely sure is. okay so and then and what it does is it, it is it it's it's like a vacuum uh, it goes against the creative mind being and what it is is it's a uh, it's a weapon uh, for the rational minded environment to protect itself uh, and then it what it'll do is it will outcast uh, the creative mind being because it fears the creative mind being because it knows that the creative mind being is very aware of what's going on and what it's doing so what it'll do is it, it, it formulates these tests to then get all the rest of the other uh, rational minded beings to then think that there's something wrong with that creative mind being and to then, then attack them. And then they prescribe the creative mind being medication to suppress them so that they become more like the rational being docile. and not so free. Yeah, they want to make you docile. They want they want to stop that. Or, um, the vacuum process of the backwards environment wants to stop that. It doesn't want you to be connected to the creator at all. Nope. Okay, so my daily life is full of things that keep me interested. You're all the uh, interest that I need. <laughs> I would like to have it. Well, we need our baby. and uh, But no, I like, I mean, there's plenty of interest. Uh, once again, that can be used. Uh, so what they, what they we, do with that yeah, one is they yeah. say, if you have no interest in things, then you are depressed. Yeah. Well, with us, we're content in uh, the creator. We're we, yeah, we're content with whatever it is that we decide to do. We're not interested in the things that other people are interested in. So when yeah. we're forced, when the free spirit is forced into a box, they may not have interest in what other people have interest in. But we love hiking. We love being outside. We love taking our dogs for a walk. Um, we used to love jogging. We've gotten a little bit well, lazy. Well, yeah, we're going to have to get back in exercising. So. We love exercising, typically. We love doing everything that we possibly can outside. We've but we're, done kayaking. We love stuff like that. But not, not necessarily so much uh, exciting anymore. We're not we're not really exciting. We it's are passion. very boring people. But well, we, well, I don't want to say boring. <laughs> I mean, really, because uh, ultimately, what do you, we, we see... Uh, uh, boring is boring is different to us now. Boring is yeah. going to a bar. Uh, boring is going to a club full of excitement. Yeah. Uh, to us, we see excitement as boring, whereas the rational it's mind true. sees excitement as cool and fun. But clubs, to, bars, lights, cameras, action. We see cities. We get very, very, very happy if we are climbing up a mountain together. Yeah. And with our dogs, so like we love that. We get very, very happy about doing that. Um, so to answer this question, my daily life is full of things that keep me interested. Well, when you have the people that are asking you to take this test and they're forcing you inside of their box and they're forcing you to live the way they, they want you to live and then they ask you, it's like trapping somebody. It's like putting somebody in a prison and saying, is your life filled with interesting things now? Like. It just doesn't work. It's the whole free spirit in a box thing. That's what I keep stressing because that's how it feels to us. Yeah. So the next thing is, I am about as able to work as I ever was. This is a good one. This is a very good one. Yeah, we see. Uh, so uh, once again, uh, you have to understand two different perceptions of view here. 
So before, as a rationally pattern-oriented view of the backward system, whereas now we're creatively aware of both uh, now and uh, see both sides, uh, if you will. So we see work and then we see serving. Uh, serving, in essence, is take away all cities and what was here before was God's creation. Uh, serving to us is flowing with God's creation, uh, growing within willpower, um, uh, flowing with God's creation. And it's hard work. And but it's worth it. When you, when, when you have a hard time going, the free spirit has a hard time going into the box and working for a paycheck because that free spirit oh, oh. over here wants to be serving those serving living all yeah. living things working with the creator and what people don't understand is that that is much harder to do you cannot be lazy and grow your own food and tend to animals and well, it's, not, serve. It's, not, it's not that difficult but yeah I don't, want, I don't want to make it sound too difficult because in essence well why? Because you're afraid people won't do it. Yeah, you might. You got. Yeah, because I mean, it, it is worth it though. It's more fulfilling. Uh, uh, it's as so we, much uh, more rewarding to use your own free will and your willpower to flow with the Creator's design to have your own food and have your animals and love your animals and love your children and love each other and be together as a family and serve together as a family. And brothers and sisters around uh, doing that. You know. Yes, I can. I mean, yes, uh, it could be a whole lot easier to uh, invent something or to uh, have a high-paying job um, that, uh, that could make things seem so much more simple and easy, but really it's just an illusion. Uh, it, it's an illusion for us to, uh, uh, to have uh, things serve us rather than us serve God's creation. So, once again, that question, how would you answer that question if, if you were like, like we are? I am about as able to work as I ever was. So what the test is looking for is for you to admit that you are able to work or not. We're not saying we're not able to work. To work. We don't feel we need to because we need to serve the Creator and it's opposite of working. Right. There's and, two different things. But, be, but because of uh, the backwards foundation that's here now and because of money and the way that everything's set up, uh, uh, it's impossible uh, to survive unless you're homeless. It, because the commerce system, the backwards system has overtaken uh, God's natural system where uh, it's not so separate and, and, and you, can, you, you can flow better. But everything's owned and operated to where this, uh, it, it can't be done. And, and this is something that has become like a vacuum, where it just keeps vacuuming and, and, and restricting with more laws and more statutes and policies and uh, more rights taken away and all these types of things. And uh, when does it stop? Yeah, so if this question changed to, I am about as able to serve as I ever was, yep, that's a yes. I am, I am fully capable of serving the Creator. I am fully capable of gardening, farming, working with animals. I am fully capable of serving the homeless people. I am fully capable of tending to people, caring for people, loving, loving people. I can't even imagine going back and sitting at a desk and looking at a computer all day being or being on the phone all day or being on on my laptop all day like i used to be i i can't and the reason why I to be serving. the reason why is is, be, uh, is because we know that uh, uh that the substance within nature is alive it's fulfilling uh and also to to uh to serve there uh, in all living things, uh, we grow in willpower. Uh, it destroys complacency. See, complacency is no good. And if we have all these devices in a backwards environment uh, that's living for us rather than us uh, serving, and we're, we're working in there uh, and, it's, and it's serving us, well, that takes away willpower. That, get, that creates complacency and uh, that destroys our vessel and it also destroys us uh, spiritually and keeps you enslaved within the rational mind. So next is, there seems to be a lump in my throat much of the time. Uh, no. No. Well, you 
clearing your throat oh, a lot. Well, that's because of my uh, nose and I had surgery and some things went wrong. Yeah. A person should try to understand his dreams. Um, I mean, you know, that can be a very deceptive question, uh, but we should always um, uh, try and understand anything that's going on with us, but not react uh, in a very... Uh, so, I'm just going to be straight up honest. I have prophetic dreams. I dream and they come true. I am shown something in a dream and then later on it happens. Not all the time, not all my dreams, once in a while, and then you can tell the difference because the, the specific prophetic dreams are very vivid and they feel real when you wake up that dream usually ends up happening. That's what happens to me when I get up in the morning and uh, yeah. uh, shoot, shoot out of bed. Yeah, so a, per a person should try to understand his dreams. They could look at that as you're living in fantasy land, but no, not if you know the difference, not if you know the truth. So well, again, they're, they're trapping a creative-minded being. So just like you have a rash, rational perception, uh, depending on where you're at in, in your uh, growth and your consciousness, mind, um, uh, one, whenever they have their dreams, it's just the same way. If you're a more rationally pattern-oriented person of fear, because the rational mind actually is fear, it's patterns of fear, uh, uh, then your, your dreams are going to be more fear-based. Um, and you don't want to react on a lot of those things. Uh, uh, but if, if people don't understand this process, you know, uh, but a, a more a creative minded being when you're more intuitively connected when you're when you're awake. Well, when you have your dreams, your dreams become more intuitively connected as well. Now, does that mean you still have some more rational uh, perspective or perception of uh, dreams? Well, yeah, you do. Uh, and you just have to learn how to discern between what's going on there and 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 what's happening um and this is just a part of uh part of our growth what's the next one uh it's like 10 or 11. hold on the phone call 10 or 11. Um, a person should try to understand his dreams and be guided by or take warning from them that's what we just did in it okay Oh, I didn't finish the rest, I guess. Uh, yeah, well, to take warning from them, I, that's what I said about as far as, like, discernment, uh, understanding discernment. Um, I enjoy detective or mystery stories. So what do you think about that? Once again, it's not about detective or mystery. It's about what's true. If it's a true story, then I like it. Right, and then, uh, yeah, yeah. I work under a great deal of uh, tension. Oh boy. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, right now I think that we're currently working under a great deal of tension. Oh wait, does it ask if, it, if we like it? Work under a great deal of, if, uh, I work under a great deal of tension. <sighs> I'm pretty sure we have a whole lot of tension going on right now. Oh, absolutely. Not between us, not, yeah. not with our not with our relationship, but, but outside. With everything that's going on now, yeah. We are working under a great deal of tension. And, what, ha and, and, and what happens is, is that uh, as, as one um, grows more creatively aware, um, uh, past pattern-oriented um, uh, viewing life, and you feel more. So what happens when you feel more alone, uh, you go up in stages of like energetic ways of uh, feeling things. Uh, and you have to balance that out uh, within uh, being in control of your own rational things as well. But as is before, when you were just rationally pattern-oriented, you don't really feel nothing, hardly. Uh, and it's more viewing things and viewing situations rather than uh, feeling it. Um, so tension. Uh, there can be a lot of tension when one is growing and, and shifting into a more creative uh, perception of things. And then especially when it's being met with resistance <coughs> from others who don't understand you, that becomes very difficult. And then you're forcefully held down um, uh, in a backwards environment that, uh, uh, that necessarily your, your newfound perception of creative awareness um, uh, does not really necessarily doesn't like that environment mm -hmm. it restricts it
I have diarrhea <coughs> once a month or more. <coughs> no, I don't think so. No. no. Once in a while, I think of things too bad to talk about. Once again, this is a trap. So, hmm. yeah. how can two parents who have had their baby forcefully taken off of them, away from them, by lies, deceit, fraud, force, by armed men and women, and then he's been kept away from them by lies, deceit, and fraud for the last year, how can those two parents not ever think about things too bad to talk about? Right, when everything's been flipped upside down. But then on the flip side of that is, we talk about everything. We're an open book. We just speak the truth of what is happening in our lives. And, and, if, we, and, and if we mess up, we'll be the first one to, uh, to speak it out. And we, and we have messed uh, up. Yeah, and I mean, we we're... have apologized, and we have come forward with things, and we have said, I'm a sinner, and I, I repent. I don't want to <clears> sin anymore. We've... And we're all we're all a part of uh, this backwards environment that goes uh, that's backwards to all living things. So in essence, uh, we are all sinners, and we are where we must acknowledge this. Uh, but the thing about it is, is that acknowledgement is one thing. Uh, then we must understand that uh, why this is happening and, and transition into the better. Um, for the for the better good of of, of us all. I am sure I get a raw deal from life. Well, right now, I, could, I mean, we would think that, yeah, I mean, this is a pretty raw deal. Uh, so, once again, the test is asking us, I am sure that I get a raw deal uh, from uh, life. Well, how does this psychologist, well, how would this psychologist or psychiatrist want to have us answer this when the people that are forcing us to take this test are the ones that created the problems for uh, us to uh, begin with to have to even answer these questions in a way that traps us into looking like we have a mental problem because before this i am sure that i have been given a raw deal in life i would say well no because all of my experiences in life good or bad have shaped me to be who i am and have brought me closer to the creator through every single bad experience through every betrayal through every person i've betrayed through every wrong thing I've done, I have grown closer to the Creator. Now, now, does that does that mean that uh, that all these wrong things are good? Uh, in essence, uh, uh, for us to grow up, just like children, they you know you you do things, you fall down, you uh, you do some bad things, and, and you grow through it. But uh, the one thing that is very deceptive here, very deceptive, uh, is that there is a difference between a true push. And a false push that is actually a vacuum push. Uh, a true push is whenever a father pushes their child outside to walk, you know, scoot the butt or uh, uh, help them over certain things, uh, explaining what certain things are in, in, in creation. Uh, building them up in willpower is a true push. A false push and or vacuum uh, is whenever a father uh, feels like the, the need to set up traps to set up a backwards environment uh, to then um, say that that's that you're making somebody strong or whatever but that 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 is that that is far from the truth uh, and is very is very deceptive that that is if that were true uh, then that would mean that that this backwards environment would already be like this somewhere within God's creation it, and it, it's not it's only because of humans that have uh, man and woman, you know, have, have created this environment. So that is, that is the great deception right there. Well, all right. So the next one. That would be the false uh, substance. To, yeah. So the next question. This is so wrong in so many ways. And I don't know why this question is on here, but this, these are the reasons we have held off for the last year on taking a test that they're trying to force us to take because we have grown so much spiritually that it is almost virtually impossible for us to take this test because of... We know it's a weapon. It, we know that it can be used as a weapon. And because of our morals. The, yeah. next, the next question, my father was a good man. 
Why are they trying to force us to judge yeah. our fathers? Yeah, once again, that's trying Why? to get you to pass judgment. Okay. What does that have to do with me being a mother? I don't want to force. I don't want to forcefully judge any one individual person. Now, other people may look at us and say that you're judging all the time. No, we're pointing out the true foundation of creation versus the the foundation of man right. and so, woman. So, so I, I actually I speak for myself here too. Is that in the beginning of all this has you know been a, a growing process and uh, balancing things out. Uh, I I know for myself that I probably uh, plenty of times uh, on a first person level because of our child being taken so abruptly and it's been a year now and it's just uh, it's very very difficult. Uh, whereas you shouldn't direct things on a first person level uh, and, the, and, and the reason why is is because all this is happening because of a backwards foundation so we, we should better understand the backwards foundation that's causing all the organized chaos rather than pointing fingers at each other as we're brothers and sisters we shouldn't be doing all of this uh, we need to realize that uh, uh, the one thing that is attacking is attacking all of us and is restricting all of us inside of this vacuum uh, of a backwards foundation. So again, my father was a good man. I have absolutely no right to judge my father. Only the creator can judge my father. My father, just like me, made mistakes. My father hurt me. I hurt him. It goes both ways. Same thing with my mother. I... I have said things I shouldn't have said in the past, and I apologize for that. She continues to say things about me that she shouldn't be saying. We shouldn't be judging each other we, as spiritual we, brothers and sisters. Yeah, can we be very disappointed in a lot of things? Sure. Uh, we are. I am very. We are very disappointed in a lot of our brothers and sisters that uh, police uh, the city environment. Uh, but 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 won't stand up for us. Yeah, but but it's only disappointment, and and it's not a first person uh, direction. We're not accusing judgmental because we understand that it's the foundation that, that that is the problem. So when somebody says to me, just answer the question, yes or no, true or false, is your father a good man? I can't physically do it. I can't do it. It's not up to me to judge. So this test does not go along with my morals. Would you be able to answer? Is your father a good man? You no, because then you, you you start passing judgment. And now, uh, you, now, now, has a lot of things been done to me, uh, betrayal wise, financial wise, all kind of stuff like that. With uh, your father? Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, and you have said things <coughs> to CPS about it. <coughs> yeah. Truth, so they understand. But to take a test <coughs> and truthfully answer true or false to that, why are we being forced? To answer these contrived questions that don't have anything to do with our baby nothing why can't we sit down if if they want to feel comfortable about us being parents give us a parenting test if that's what you really feel you need to do so I, I think ultimately if we're, if we're doing parenting tests and things like that the problem is is that the tests are environmental uh, subjective where it, it's rationally pattern oriented for the backwards commerce system and not to respecting uh, the all living uh, system and that's what's pr that's the problem with these tests I gotta turn the um, AC on maybe it's, it's hot can you make sure that's still working too yeah I sure can yep it's going <sighs> okay so I am very seldom troubled by constipation again I don't think either of us have problems pooping and it, no. Nope. So when I take a new, okay, what? What does this mean? When I take a new, like N E W, when I take a new, I like to be tipped off on whom should be gotten next to. What? What? I. I wouldn't be able to answer that one. I don't know what kind of tricky question that is. Well, that's once again, it's, it, it's, it's a trap, right? It, it, all, it all formulates a trap that can be used as a weapon. Next. My sex life is satisfactory. <coughs> okay, once again, we are being asked. Okay, we don't, we don't view sexual intimacy with your other half as a sin. It is not. It is a beautiful thing that brings life into the world. That's how our baby is here on this world. However... Why is a test 
given by psychiatrists asking if the sex life is satisfactory. We can't even answer that correctly right now. Well, because of, of uh, it goes into lust factor. We have risen above lust. Everybody deals with it. It is a problem in society. We all have to rise above it. But we have dealt with it, and we have risen above it, and we do not lust. And we love. Yeah, and, and ultimately, uh, this is uh, how most men are controlled. Uh, the reason, all right, so uh, the backwards environment is, is patterns with false substance. Uh, nature or all living things, the living God, <coughs> is uh, patterns with true substance. It's wavy lines of active life. Well, uh, in, a, in, in a backwards environment with this false substance, well, that's the opposite of what is true substance. So, in essence, it's like a false mother, uh, if you will. That's what it is. Uh, uh, the Alpha and the Omega. It's, the, it's a false Omega. It's the false tree of life. It's the false substance. Uh, and The harlot. Yeah, and which, what, what the Bible calls the harlot, or, or other religions call certain things. Uh, now, uh, what, how does she control men? She, she controls men through lust. Uh, she comes at them with lust. Uh, uh, we got a whole lot of uh, pedophile rings that are that are happening right now because there's so much chaos that, that's happening in the world right now that in order to get men to be okay with all this stuff that's happening, well, the best way to do that is uh, through lust uh, because if, if men are, are, are um, uh, haven't spiritually grown to a certain level, then they'll give in to that lust. And uh, But ultimately, you know, men, we have to get to a certain point of where we get control of these things. Uh, and the first step is, is that acknowledging what's happening and, uh, and acknowledging the false foundation for what it is and also acknowledging that it's the true foundation that gives us life. And that's what we should uh, be standing for as men and women. So to answer my sex life is satisfactory, okay, let's just put it this way. When we are in a position to have more babies, we will have more babies just fine. We do have procreational needs. So, I can't really, I can't answer these questions the way that they are looking for them to be answered unless I were to sit in front of a psychiatrist like I am right now. Maybe we should send this video. Well, we're going to go over these things for them. But anyways, um... At times, I have very much wanted to leave home. Uh, where are you this going? this yeah. could be answered in 17 million different ways. So what are what? I don't yes and no, true and false. I don't know. I don't know how. To, not my home with you. Not my home with our baby. Okay, but, but our our home is within ourselves. Ultimately. Really. So it's yeah, like yeah. once again, they're taking a, an idea of something and making a question into it, <coughs> and we can't really. Answer Truthfully. Because the uh, rational pattern oriented mind turns things into many different ideas uh, that can go all over the place. Okay, this is a good one right now. At times I have fits of laughing and crying that I cannot <coughs> control. Okay, so they could use this against us because, once again, rip somebody's baby away from them by force and fraud, make them not be able to trust in any government authority whatsoever and then put them into a box, the free spirit into a box, put a psychiatrist in front of them, ask them, do you cry often? Many times that we have to think about our child uh, and, and what's going on and what's happening to us, yes, I mean, it, 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 yes. Now, I mean, if we had our baby back and we were living life and we were raising him and we were um, spending time with him and watching him grow and playing outside with him as much as possible and serving the homeless people and serving this person and serving that people, we would be so content that we would be probably maybe crying happy tears of joy once in a while. But no, we don't typically cry, but I can't answer that here because it's true or false. Right, it's, so not, it's not like an explanation, it's true or false. And if you say, yes, you're depressed, so that's why, that's why it becomes very subjective. It becomes Medication. A Be docile on medication. You need forced medication. No, you don't do that. You, you ask and you have conversations with people to understand their life 
before you start judging. And in fact, you shouldn't be judging at all because it's not up to you to judge. It's up to the creator to judge. So if you have a, if you have a psychologist and or doctor or a psychiatrist that uh, that's not that hasn't uh, become more creatively aware of, of, of things in life and or wakefulness and uh, wakeful of, of within themselves and knowing within themselves, then they're very, they'll become very subjective beings too and, uh, uh, and they condone these tests because they just don't get it. They, they don't understand that side of, uh, of the brain and, and of, uh, of creation, if you will. I am troubled by attacks <coughs> of nausea and vomiting. No. no one seems to understand me. Well, there oh, you go. So, boy. Uh, oh, wait, uh, hold on. This is what this is what psychologists say. No one seems to understand you. So that must mean that you're separating yourself from society, and there that means that you have a disorder because you are separate from society, and therefore you think <coughs> everybody's against you and nobody understands you. There's something wrong with you. So it wants to flip everything around on you because it knows that its false foundation is backwards. And then also, this is why it creates the, uh, uh, the effect of waiting for a certain name to come back to set everything straight. Because see, a creative, all creative mind beings are going to, once they awaken all the way, or uh, prophetic, however you want to say it, are going to realize that the environment is completely backwards. Cities are completely backwards. And they're also going to know that that is the root of the problem. So if you are a part of, uh, of, of the rational environment, you create a, pseu a pseudoscience like this with questionnaires to then attack the creative mind being uh, then you give a title of a name of a prophet that uh, is prophesized for certain things to happen uh, and then uh, that that's the only person that can do it and then you get the rest of the people to then attack uh, the, the ones that are waking up when this is just a normal process for everyone to go through but as you can see the rational mind and or alter ego is very deceptive uh, and creates a vacuum effect uh, through mind control that gets everybody to attack the creative mind being. So, in other words, we have proven over the last year that many people do not understand us, which is why our baby was taken, because the people at the hospital don't understand us, DHR doesn't understand us, I'm hoping they're starting to, but people have not understood us and that has been proven so for us to answer, we would say, yes, nobody understands us at this current point in time because we are at a different level of consciousness than a lot of people. But does that mean that there's something wrong with us? No, it just means that we truthfully understand and we're not in denial that right now a lot of people do not understand our point, our perception. They don't understand. But... They're trying to trap us by making us look paranoid um, that people are against us and don't understand us. It's not paranoia, it's truth. A lot of people do not understand us. Yeah. So, uh, next, where am I? I would like to be a singer. No. No, um, a long time ago, I when I was younger, I liked and I, I still like to sing, but I don't. I don't want to be a singer. I don't want to be famous. I don't. I don't want any spotlight on me. We're making this video right now so that people can try and understand us. So once again, uh, that's like an excitement question. It's uh, uh, to us. Uh, it's very excitement uh, driven. Uh, and ultimately, yeah, you know, people sing in the shower. People, you know, sing all the time. Sometimes, the uh, uh, you know, I, I don't really sing anymore but that that's that's yeah, just like awesome. yeah i guess i do sometimes i do sometimes yeah <laughs> i guess so. i mean but not like uh like in that question it seems like it's saying do you want to be like a singer you know i but, would like yeah. to be a singer it says well yeah. no okay <coughs> i feel that it is certainly best to keep my mouth shut when i'm in trouble another deceptive question it depends who is making me look like you're in trouble right now people think we're in trouble we're not keeping our mouth shut because we need people to understand what's going on but we could totally see how some people would want to keep their mouth shut because of They're the back afraid. the backwards entrapped environment that just kind of vacuums in on them <coughs> and uh once again that's that whole uh, power persu uh, persuasion process 
of the backward system that, that, that sub or comes after a creative mind being. So I could totally see how someone that is shifting more so in the creative mind could feel that way because right now uh, 99 or 90 percent of the people in the world are don't understand that and they're more rational based uh, you know um, I can tell you that Jesus would answer that question um, true well, he would say I feel it is best to keep my mouth shut when I'm in trouble because that's exactly what he did he they, they put him up in front of what was yeah he, and the reason why he didn't speak anymore is because he knew that it didn't matter. He knew that all their laws that they arrested him on was fictitious. He knew that the environment uh, that he was trying to point out was false, backwards, that it was an alter ego environment, uh, uh, fraud. And uh, he knew that it didn't, at the time, he didn't have enough uh, technological points to explain this to uh, to them for, that, for, for them to be able to understand it because because it was new and their rational mind was caught up in it. Uh, so they couldn't perceive it. They couldn't understand him. They know not what they do. <coughs> That's what that means is because if you're caught up in the rational mind and you haven't uh, shifted into the creative mind to a more awareness level to understanding that, to a more feeling way of life and not just viewing, <coughs> then it becomes very difficult to explain that process without technological points. So he had to use a lot of metaphors and he did amazing. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Uh, evil spirits possess me at times. So, what's the definition of possessions? <coughs> the definition of uh, possessions is... Uh, uh, to have control. To have control of or things that are possessed. Uh, um, so, uh, so what is the alter ego? Well, the alter ego is a false self within to where, where your mind is lying to yourself. <coughs> and for anybody to say that uh, they don't feel possessed <coughs> and that uh, they, they're not dealing with some things like that, well, you're lying to yourself because ultimately the backwards environment of uh, cities and streets and all these types of things that are patterns with false substance, straight lines and 90 degree angles is all backwards uh, to uh, all living things, the living God of uh, patterns with true substance that's alive, circles and wavy lines of, uh, of active life. Well, <clears throat> that's the true environment where the alter ego environment is of the cities. So in essence, the possession uh, is the alter ego mm -hmm. that, is, that is now proven. But you're supposed to become spirit over the ego, um, rise from the dead, uh, can't think of any terminology, the spirit over the ego means that you have conquered the falseness within, you've conquered the false ego, you've conquered the evil within. Well, we're, we're, but we're, all, we're, all, we're always battling uh, the alter ego. Well, that's uh, the end goal. Yeah, you, you, get, you get to a certain point to where it doesn't, uh, uh, it doesn't consume you uh, all the time, and if it does get you every once in a while, the more you grow within the creative mind, you snap out of it quicker, you snap out of it faster. Um, when, when someone does me a wrong, I feel I should pay him back if I can, just for the principle of the thing. No, that would be revenge. Revenge is looked at as a sin. Um, you're supposed to love at all times. Jesus stood there and he took the punches and the kicks and the beats and the, the torture and the mocking and the spitting and the laughing. And we haven't even had close to that, but we understand the pain of being mocked and laughed at and um, uh, invisible punches, if you will. We had our baby taken from us forcefully. Um, and, and ever since then, slander and all kinds of things you can't even imagine. Uh, threats, death threats, we've had all of it. So, um, we, but we stand in love. We don't want to attack back. We don't want to be violent. We don't none of it. We just, we take the punches and we hope that people will eventually understand. So, I can't answer that question. Oh, I guess I can. No, I, when someone does me wrong, I feel I should pay him back. No, I don't. No, because uh, forgiveness is the key here. Uh, mercy and forgiveness and love. And, and ultimately, we shouldn't be pointing fingers at a first-person view. Uh, 
uh, we must understand the root of the problem, and the root of the problem is the backwards uh, foundation. That we all stand on together as brothers and sisters. That we gotta, we gotta, we gotta make change. Um, I am bothered by acid stomach several times a week. No. Yeah. At times I feel like swearing. So again, why are we asking questions about sin to trap people in? But um, do we make mistakes? Oh, everyone makes uh, uh, mistakes. I have yeah. definitely made mistakes and I have busted out with some swear words in the last year, but I am don't usually swear. It's not in my daily vocabulary. It's like maybe like once a month it comes out because I'm upset, <laughs> but it's a work in progress. Um, I have nice So that's another misconception uh, uh, there too, uh, is that as long as this backwards environment is here, everyone is going to be dealing with the alter ego, for everyone deals with the alter ego, uh, uh, you know, uh, until you get so spiritually uh, grown and or God. Uh, and as long as, yeah, as long as someone, you know, as long as uh, within the flesh here, as, as man and woman, we're we're always growing. The, the alter ego, the alter ego is is an effect of the rational mind that creates a false god. Letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry, which then creates a backwards foundation, was what happens. Uh, but ultimately, it's 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 used as adversity. But uh, must be understood, or, or it overtakes. The, the more connected we get to the Creator within all of these things, and the more connected we get to the Creator in our relationship and within love, the less we sin um, in general. So um, I have nightmares every few nights. So for me, that's very difficult. I guess I would say no because I don't really I don't sleep that much because I'm up all night worried about the baby. So I think every once in a while I'll be up yeah. Um I find it hard to keep my mind on a task or job. Okay, so they would use this against us because they would say that our mind is elsewhere, but really our minds shouldn't be on on robotic jobs and tasks. Our minds should be on love. Our minds should be on creativity. Our minds should be on helping and serving life. So uh, that, that's, this is actually a very good question to answer because uh, uh, the rational mind uh, becomes very robotic and habitualized. Uh, it's very pattern-oriented, preset uh, patterns of uh, basic instincts, if you will. Uh, and the creative mind is more spontaneously living. So in the true foundation of all living things, it is designed with no organization. Uh, yes, at a molecular level, there is design, and it is immaculately designed, but it is not or it is not organized. There is no straight lines and 90 degree angles anywhere in nature, for there is no organization. It is just spontaneously driven alive. Um, yes, so there's order to how things become alive, but there is it's that's not. That's design. It's not. Yeah, it's the design. It's not organized like you organize your cups and your dishes and your shoes and your houses and your furniture and everything has to be in a specific way and a straight and and in corners and on the sides of the room no yeah, nature's like everywhere and, and can things be chaotic yeah for sure hurricanes uh a hurricane a hurricane is uh, very chaotic it's chaotic but it's not organized chaos it is spontaneously circle chaos which is uh a part of what's real. It's the organized chaos that is a vacuum. Okay, so where am I? Oh, I have had very peculiar and strange experiences. It's like never ending, peculiar and strange experiences. Everything's very uh, peculiar uh, whenever you shift into the creative mind more and you start to view what is really going on in life. Uh, and you see the two uh, uh, foundations, if you will, one of uh, dead things where, and when I say dead things, what I mean is is that it's not alive. You can't grow a seed on a carpet. You can't grow, grow a, a tree out on the street or a sidewalk. Uh, everything is dead. Uh, but if you walk out into nature or God's creation, everything's alive. Uh, everything's living. It's, it, it's, all, it's all alive. 
so the fact that this is asking me, I've had very peculiar and strange experiences, they use that against you because if you, then that's when um, grandiose behaviors and delusions of grandeur come in because if you believe that you're having peculiar and strange experiences, then you must think that you're more special than others who have simple lives. No, it's just that we see a different perception yeah. and really strange things are happening to us, like our baby being stolen from us on lies and fraud and deceit and us being in this whirlwind of yeah, all kinds exactly. of lies. So once again, uh, it becomes a weapon. Uh, and uh, really, you know, what, what is crazy? What, what, you know, the definition of crazy, uh, I, I mean, if you, if you really look at it, uh, the very fact that our rational mind creates a false perception of things because we're, we're because it needs to try and grow towards the Creator, and it creates a false god with its mind of letters, numbers, symbols, and geometry to try and do that. Well, the the uh, the very act of taking that and then creating a backwards uh, environment that is dead compared to all living things uh, that destroys. The very thing that gives us life, well, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. And it's a little bit crazy uh, that the mind can create and fabricate uh, all these different languages and all these different religions and, and so much stuff. But you know what? That's a part of the process of the rational mind that does that. And that's, that's, that's crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, really, everybody that's in a, in a backwards foundation, they're a little bit crazy. <laughs> and, until, until you find a knowing within yourself and, and you become centered uh, and you know your place in the living God you're a little crazy yeah. that's, why there, that's why there's so many religions and that's why there's so many languages and that's why there's so many false gods because there's a lot of crazy going on so I don't like this question if people had not had it in for me I would have, I would have been much more successful so what is success? Because success to me means giving your all, giving your all in love and um, serving the Creator and at the end of it all, rising in spirit to back to the Creator. That's success to me, to rise in spirit and, and be in a heavenly state. Not, not success within a false foundation of a job that's just temporary. I don't want to be the president of the United States. That's not success to me. To me, success is rising in spirit. Growing, so, growing in consciousness. So this is asking here, um, if people had not had it in for me, I would have been more, much more successful. So again, it's making me pass judgment on people. It's talking about success in a false foundation. I cannot truthfully answer this question. And the other thing is, people say, well, just do what you have to do to get your baby back. Lie if you have to. But that's just, I can't lie can't anymore. Lie. I, I've lied in my life. I have. I have made, I have lied. I will be the first to admit it. I have lied. I am trying with all my might to speak truth every single second of every single day for the, for the rest of my life because I have grown so much in the spirit that I can't let the Creator down anymore. I now, can't. Are we still in the commerce environment? Yes, we are. Uh, by way of force? Absolutely. And uh, it, it, because everything is owned and operated and because of uh, us having to deal with people that have stolen our child in a commerce environment. But are we in denial in it? No not. I'll be the first person to tell you that uh, I am not in denial in it. Uh, I, I'm a sinner uh, because of uh, the way that everything has been designed and, and the way that uh, the commerce system is so prevalent and uh, uh, is being policed by the way of force where your baby gets stolen. Um, during one period when I was a youngster, I engaged in petty thievery. So, okay, yes. I think whenever I was young, I... I, I what I, the crap does this have to do with being a parent? Absolutely not. So they trap you and make... They, all of this is about sins. Yeah, it's all about sins. And, 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 and uh, the rational mind is... Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, you got to be wise as a serpent and as uh, innocent as a dove. Well, now you see why. Now, now you can see why. Because uh, creative-minded beings, boy, 
you know, we have got to be very careful with our language because language is so deceptive. Uh, so, so yeah. At times, I feel like smashing things. Well, I don't. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna. I don't smash anything. Uh, uh, do I? Do we still deal with a little bit of frustration at times? I, yeah, absolutely. Uh, but it's about. Uh, it's about getting control of that, and uh, and understanding where this fr uh, frustration is coming from. Uh, uh, to deal with it, but ultimately, if we keep looking past the root of the problem, then you know, dealing with uh, the frustration becomes a never-ending cycle of uh, crazy. So I, when I was a child, I used to smash things a lot. Teenage years, I was one of those teenagers that got, was, I had a lot of pent-up aggression, anger, hostility, um, sort of <coughs> around with my surroundings because. Of of what we've been speaking about. I felt like I was a free spirit trapped in a box and I didn't understand it. Now that I understand it, I can control the frustration a lot better. I am far more in control of myself than I was when I was a teenager. I'm far more in control of myself because I have grown towards the creator and have become closer to the creator. So I am able to find the content within every situation as possible and it's still a work in progress so thankfully you keep me in check with that. Well we, we, both, we both do that uh, as, as we as that's part of the bond, right? Mm -hmm. So where am I? So I love meditation. <laughs> yes, we like to meditate, we like to ponder, we like to prayer sit. Prayer is prayer. Sit and listen. So some people pray and then they continue on with their tasks. They pray and continue on with their tasks. So we have got to learn to listen to the Creator. So and the it, only way to do that is through sitting and meditating and waiting. And how do you, and, and, and the best way that, uh, that I can explain this is, is it only, you, I mean, you can do it uh, within the environment of uh, the dead environment, uh, but for me, I like I like to go outside and uh, be amongst uh, the living God, all the living things, and connect with that. Mm -hmm. uh, so, prayer. I, I think it's uh, prayer and meditation merged. Is the yes. best way I like to say it. Is it's a it's a relationship with God. Uh, through my thoughts connecting in and then intuitively feeling uh, uh, and a lot of times uh, responses don't even come immediately uh, responses can come the next day or the next day when you intuitively uh, you're, you're given the uh, the answer of, of, of things uh, but but that yeah that yeah so my, the question is most any time I would rather sit and daydream than to do anything else if I said yes to that the psychiatrist would look at that and be like, you are lazy, you don't want to work, you are a useless waste of society. And then it wants to throw children on uh, medications to subdue them or amp them up or however you want to say it, uh, uh, to keep them restrictive in the vacuum process of uh, uh, the backwards growing foundation. And growing in spirit. So yeah. the fact of the matter is... That's we, not their fault. They're just trying to grow like they're normally supposed to. I'm sorry. We're not sitting and daydreaming. We are going through some serious, serious, serious things in life right now where we're being attacked, essentially, because of those who do not understand the things we speak of now. So what we have to do is we do what we have to do, but then we spend a good amount of time in prayer and or meditation merged together with each other as a family. And that could be looked at as lazy because people are not used to Prayer being an everyday, many-hour thing. They they think of prayer as like a quick prayer for something within the possession field. I pray for a house, and they 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 don't wait and they list they don't listen, and then they go to church. They're on, asking rather than listening. Asking, not listening, not listening, and being led by the Creator, and then they go to church once a week and then spend some time in church, but. So what a lot of people don't understand is that we have grown so much spiritually and towards the Creator that we 
we try to not even try it's just our life now we we meditate if constantly. uh if if if, uh, if churches and or religions were not here how would one uh connect to the creator so does that does that mean that if churches uh, religions are not here that that one or that that uh, man or woman is uh, uh they're just going to be separate forever or they're just not going to know or does that mean that uh uh, that was here, what was here before cities and everything else is what is absolutely just needed for someone to to connect. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, uh, why, why, why does God need a church? Uh, God has given us uh, earth, uh, planet, uh, world, however you want to say it in language, to exist on. And in essence, uh, to better understand the Creator's design and flow with that is to better understand the Creator. Uh, for, for the cells inside of my body, you know, uh, for them to better uh, understand the design of my body is for them to better flow uh, with my body. And, uh, but if they don't want to focus on my body at all or better understand the design of my body, and they want to selfishly live by endlessly consuming and creating a backwards environment, well, that's cancer in it. Mm -hmm. um, I have had periods of days, weeks, or months when I couldn't take care of things because I couldn't get going. I would say that's never happened to me. It's just that I don't necessarily want to do the things that other people want me to do. I want to be serving the Creator and living a life of simplicity and uh, of value and not like the life that I used to have of materialism. I we, have see, changed. We see value as protect, uh, stewards of the uh, of planet. We, we see value as uh, protecting what was given to us. And that should be our right to do. Now, I used to have a life of materialism where I had everything that you could possibly ever want. I don't want that anymore. Now, people that want that, that's fine. They can have it, but I don't. So I have... So I'll, I'll say a lot of times, I'll say, uh, uh, if one person chooses to live with possessions, that's between them and the creator of us all. If another person chooses to not live with uh, possessions, that's between the creator of us all, between them and the creator of us all. There should be no war between us as brothers and sisters. And one side should not be holding the other side down. But ultimately... Uh, that's what's happening now is that we're, we're being forcefully uh, held down into a commerce uh, way that's taking over everything and uh, well that's not love. Mm -hmm. And so to answer this question um, again it's all about within within the working commerce false environment that is opposite of creation where we feel more comfortable in. So I keep having to be asked these questions that have to do with the environment that we're forced to be in. And it's, and it's true or false. You can't explain, so then it becomes a weapon. You can't explain. So then they take your answers. If you answer them to the best of your ability, they take your answers, and they're just going to start diagnosing us with all kinds of things because they don't factor in spiritual awakening and the free spirit. They do not... Psychology is anti-free spirit. And uh, the false substance uh, uh, or the dark forces that are controlling this alter ego process of the cities and everything else is very well calculated. It is very well calculated and it knows what it's doing. Uh, it used the power of persuasion tactics uh, uh, by answering these uh, subjective questions where, <coughs> yeah, to, where uh, to where then it flips it. and. And the reason why it flips it is because it knows that it must. It knows that it must, and it knows that it must get you to look past the root of the problem, which is the backwards foundation of, of all dead things where nothing is growing. If you, if you make it stand and, 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 and acknowledge <coughs> the, uh, the backwards foundation uh, that goes against all living things, it shuts down. And, and uh, this is why it's created that effect of waiting for somebody to come uh, with certain powers and certain things or, or, or things like that because it has created this fantastical view of something to happen uh, whereas uh, uh, to keep everybody enslaved.
My family does not like the work I have chosen or the work I intend to choose for my life work. I don't know what family they're referring to because we are a family. Yeah, well, and ultimately we see the entire world as our family. It's just uh, separation. Right. That's what I'm called. saying. Yeah. Which family are they speaking of? Because we've got our intimate family here um, where we completely are in agreement with everything. So I can answer that one way. And then we've got our earthly family who actually like created us and raised us and they don't agree with anything that we do uh, because they don't understand. Or they're selfishly uh, driven and uh, uh, but ultimately once again we don't want to become so first person view with things like that because selfishly driven is something that happens because of the backwards foundation. And then we've got our family on earth so we've got our family that are on this on like minds if you will that all understand what we're saying and there is there is some people that do and but they feel restricted too and they completely um support what we do and then there's those that don't understand us and they don't support but they're still they're still our family under the creator so we as free spirits with a great awareness of of things cannot answer this question once again so these, these are the reasons why and i, I don't want to like keep going through it. i think people get it yeah that's probably enough right now just uh, and keep in mind i just read like maybe 20 something questions there's 700 questions true or false and then what they do is in a computer and it's not on paper it's computerized because they take they take uh patterns and they ask you the same question in multiple different ways and then they have this like pattern oriented thing to trap you into certain things and then at the end of it you're either diagnosed with disorders or you're not but spiritual beings creative minded beings the free spirits will always be diagnosed with something and in, in, well, in, in, a, in a backwards foundation uh, uh, is what will happen you see uh uh, pattern oriented mind you can you can calculate someone's habitual movements and uh, and try and calculate things that they're going to do where that's what psychology pretty much is it, it, it's trying to calculate someone's personality and I can do that just by myself I don't need a test uh, uh, you can too in essence uh, so but the thing is though is that that's not proper uh, because it takes spontaneity out of the way and it takes growth within the creative mind out of the way, the variable of God. It takes the variable of God out of the equation. And uh, this is why psychology can be so deceptive and used as a weapon if, uh, if the doctor is uh, not creatively aware within their own right. And if you'll notice what people say within their own right, uh, what that means is, is that even subliminally, we know that the right mind uh, is uh, is where the, the creative the mind is where the spirit derives and the rational mind is like the ego uh, it's blinded of spirit uh, and uh, where where it acts it acts out on pattern it's very pattern oriented if your spirit is in the right mind you are a free spirit if your spirit is in the left mind you are enslaved your spirit is enslaved the goal of life for every single person in the world is to go is to move your spirit from left to right and, and uh, uh what happens is, is that you become awake you become awake of your spirit and this is this is a part of design uh the earth in essence if you, if you say like your mind uh the seed must embrace the darkness of the rational mind of the ego where it grows out roots uh you know and, and growing out and then and then uh, it must embrace that darkness of the ego separate from spirit, right? Uh, but then once it breaks through uh, the alter ego, it starts to defeat the alter ego, it grows out into the light of love and it uh, uh, grows uh, living uh, leaves and flowers and uh, all these things. Well, uh, that's like growing from your left brain into your right mind where then uh, the tree is absorbing sunlight uh, and consciousness just like wherever you grow within your right mind you're intuitively connected to the creator and you're growing just like the tree now because you you're out you're you, you've awakened you know uh, raise the dead that's what that means 
So, and interestingly, you can find this stuff. <sighs> trying to say how to say this, but there is a verse that I kind of actually want to say from the Bible. So we that actually uh, explains this. So, uh, uh, sometimes we use. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So the, there, there is a Bible, Bible verse that actually shows Jesus actually spoke of these things back then. And he spoke of, when they say that he released demons out of people, demons are your false ego in your left mind. It's where all the, you make all your bad decisions, you sin, because you're, you're over on the left side of your brain. The analytical, the design, without love, without intuition, without it's um, the, it's the, all of that. It's the addictive mind. It's uh, the preset patterns of basic instincts like rational animals. Uh, they function uh, out of uh, fear and not spontaneity and uh, uh, reactions. Uh, and it, and it, it's, it's, very, uh, it's very addictive. It's the addictive mind. So this says, when the people and the people went out to see, this is Luke 8, 35. When the people went out to see what, what had happened, they came when they came to Jesus, they found the man from whom the demons had gone out, sitting at Jesus' feet, dressed and in his right mind, and they were afraid. So it shows that Jesus helped this man get the his... demons out of his left brain to go into his right right brain, meaning opening up his mind to more awareness, more love, more creativity, more spontaneity. Lifting the veil. Lifting the veil. So Jesus... When they came to Jesus, they found a man from whom the demons had gone out, sitting at Jesus' feet, dressed and in his right mind. So dropping the ego becomes spirit over the ego is what that is. Yep. And when you drop the ego and you become spirit over the ego, it's very difficult for those people to come back into the ego. That would be the same thing as the tree as a seed that grew out or grew through the dirt. Uh, roots in the dirt and then grows out into the light. That would be the same thing as uh, telling that tree where the rational environment would be under the dirt, but ultimately uh, the commerce environment is backwards. It's, it's a false negative. Uh, so that would be the same as asking the tree to go back down to a seed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't do that. <laughs> you, can't, you can't grow that way. It's impossible. So anyways. So it becomes very restrictive and, and difficult, but uh, uh, creative mind beings, we have to learn how to be so much love and be and, and take the punches uh, because uh, we love you. And this has been a very long year, and we're doing what we can to. We've had a huge growing experience where at first we were in shock, we were in fear, we were completely beside ourselves, we were stunned that this could be happening just for being simple, loving beings that just wanted to flow a little bit more in nature. Um, we didn't harm our baby. He wasn't abused. He wasn't neglected. We had everything we needed for him. I mean, there was nothing. So we have had a growing experience over the last year. And what we've come to is that we're trying to build this bridge. We're trying to gap this not just for our, us and our baby, but for everybody. Yeah, for the rest of us. Uh, I mean, it's inevitable, just like the seed to bust through the dirt, to grow out through the light of love. It's, an, it's inevitable for everyone to do this, to grow within the creative mind. Uh, uh, so, and another thing, too, is what the system will do, uh, and a lot of uh, the lawyers, they know this, is, uh, is that uh, seeking glory. Um, what the system does is that because it's uh, completely backwards in the first place, and uh, laws are very, uh, laws are all uh, fictitious unless there's some type of injury or harm to one another or the commandments. It's, it's all fictitious law of a false backwards environment. So if someone, for a creative minded being, the only way to explain anything of that is to explain the root of the problem, which is the false backwards foundation. So what they've done now is, is they say that uh, for to do that, that you're seeking some type of glory, that you're prideful, that, that, you're, prideful, that you're not uh, that you're not allowing them to help, or uh, certain things like that. Where where to allow them to help is to condone the fictitious law that is trying to suppress us, and it is, it's it's a lie. It's 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 an absolute lie. So once again, it's just like the questions. 
uh, it is their rational uh, environment that is a vacuum uh, that, that tries to attack the creative minded being at the very point to where it knows uh, that uh, that is a uh, uh, that that shows it's lying, uh, that, that shows that it's a lie. So 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 then it creates this envious view uh, or greedy view of getting the rational beings to then attack the creative minded being just for trying to speak truth about the two different foundations and and uh, and help everyone. Yeah, and you know people have attacked us and slandered us and mocked us for the last year because we were standing firm on we can't we can't just give in to we can't just give in to being over here and then going oh okay over here well what where is their respect for the beings over here that are on the foundation of the creator that was already here from the beginning of time so they so they say what well, they say compromise just do what they want and get your baby back well well guess what uh, uh, the foundation is a false negative um, it's it's not true growth it's not of all living things so they're asking us to compromise with a backwards momentum of life that is backwards